Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2 on the Mysterious JG. Hmm. So we've had some um, mixed luck. I've had real trouble with each of the dojo missions, but so far I've managed to get them done, just not quickly and artfully. Um, we got to level up, so let's do that. I've been kind of doing it evenly, and we can see strength is the lowest. That affects Odachi. It gives us key pulse, which is nice. Water resist hasn't seemed to come up that much. Uh, but again, I'm just kind of doing it evenly um, until I get everything up to 20, and then I really just got to pick something to specialize in, probably. Uh, because at some point, I'll hit, I'll hit where I can use whatever spirit animals I want. Um, stamina, I've been leveling up far more than I do in most games, just because I like the idea of flexibility, but I'm still finding... My playstyle, glass cannon, some have called it, really suited towards um, very light armor. So, let's uh, go to the dojo. Well, first of all, let's see. What have I got laid out for my Kusarigama? So, I think I was actually using Kusarigama last regularly. Before I was doing, um, I think this was before I was really doing um, a whole lot of, um, look at that, this is before I was developed this technique where I just, um, This, yeah, this is before I was doing the technique where, which was based on nothing having, um... Only having one... La, 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 can't talk! Only having one attack per uh, stance so that I could take advantage of the effects of the Chosakabe class. And if anyone knows that's not how it works, let me know. But I'm not getting a whole lot of comments on this series. I think it's just JG fans and not big-time Neo fans, but, um... Key damage dealt. Serpents and... I guess up here I can go with... Um, corruption, but I don't know. Foot sweep? I think I'm just going to be knocking people... Knocking the guy down and trying to get big hits. And we'll see if he's just like completely immune to that. As some of the... But, um, some of the humanoid boss enemies are really resistant to that working. Uh, but the chain that splits the sky, this should be an easy one for me, in theory. Because this is what I used to do all the time, Gusarigama. I see you have still have much to learn about the way of the Gusarigama. Traversing the realm of the dead in order to perfect the Shinsenin style has given me mastery over all manner of weapons. Defeat me in combat and I will teach you the ways of Gusarigama. How does that sound to you? So I don't know who this guy's supposed to be. I guess I could read about him in the character directory if I wanted to. But this notorious island, located far out to sea, serves as a penal colony. It said an unfortunate criminal sent there will meet their end, but whatever. Oh, he's got a different sounding voice than you would think. Okay, it knocks him down, but it doesn't actually... He doesn't stay down long enough for you to do anything about it. That's the problem. So we're off to a bad start here, for sure. Then again, this is how I used to cheese people. Yeah, he's just not going to stay down long enough for that to do any good. This is the attack I wish I could put something on.
Oh, I screwed up. I had a chance to get a big hit there. Yeah, just shouldn't get fancy with stuff. Just do my normal Kusarigama. Because he's... Apparently has no defense for it, although he's about to win. Unless I evade. I'm in the wrong stance. There you go. <laughs> that was significantly easier than the rest. And uh, going in and switching up how I was equipped was not necessary. I just beat him with how I used to just do Kusarigama all the time. I had to like shove him over to get him out of the way. I see your power of spamming a regular attack instead of a special attack is pure and good. Wow, I'm... Okay, I finally won one of these on the first try. And it was Kusarigama, not Split Staff. So that's, uh... I guess that's me, uh... Going back to my roots, spamming that move. Well, I guess that means we'll have to find another side mission to do in this. Unless I want to go back and just beat this guy some more, hoping he'll drop good gear. But nothing that he was dropping there seemed like it was unique to him. I guess we'll have to see what his, uh... If the Kusarigama he dropped is part of some special set. Hmm, you are skilled indeed with the blade. Victory is yours. And as promised, I will entrust you with the secrets of the Kusarigama. Should you wish to acquire further knowledge, you know where to find me. Shishidu Kusarigama. Okay. So let's try the, uh... Kusarigama wielder's locks. And then we will learn some new Kusarigama skills, namely uh, Waxing Crescent, increase both attack damage and key damage caused by the Kusarigama Sickle. But the one I'm probably really going to be using is the one uh, increases both attack damage and key damage caused by the Kusarigama's metal weight. Because I think that's what you actually do damage with with the attack that I actually use to crush him there. And by crush him, I mean I won the first try, not like I... Didn't take damage or anything, but you know what I mean. And now, I guess, um... It's, uh... Oh, hut. Illustrations. We probably learned about one of the masters that we defeated a couple of times there. I'll be no... I guess we'll... At some point, we'll progress further in the main story and get to do our Onmyo Mastery, Ninjutsu Mastery missions, and then we'll finish with him. Although we've learned all we're going to learn about Kato Danzo. So maybe Hanzo takes over from him as our ultimate ninja teacher. Okay. She sent in Kosen as a martial arts hailing from Aki Province, present to Hiroshima. His true name is... Yatoshi, and he was originally a member of the Shishido clan who served the Mori. He became a different Mori, I think. He became a mountain aesthetic and endured rigorous training that pushed him close to the brink of death many times, eventually leading to the creation of the Shisen style of martial arts based on principles imparted by Minamoto no Yoshitsune. In the course of his training, he learned what some deemed the secrets of the Tengu, meaning that despite, that despite being over 100 years old, he still possesses the physical vitality of a much younger man. While he's proficient with the swords, with swords both small and large, he possesses seemingly deep insight into the ways of Kusarigama. Much like a high priest, he has a calm character and approaches matters philosophically. He is not always calm, however, and the aura of bloodlust he sometimes exudes in combat is intense enough to stun birds and small animals in the vicinity. Sure. Sure thing. Okay. Um... It's a shrine that we need, not a hut, sorry. Because we're going to go to the donate screen. I normally don't like to do a bunch of... Um, ...on-screen inventory management, but we've got to clear some stuff out here. Um... Don't think we got anything new there. We have bamboo cutter, but it's not as good as this one. Wooden spear is not going to be our main uh, weapon at this point. I don't think. Bird flight cross spear. These are not part of the set. Master of spears. Okay, we do want to hold on to that. And that is a melee key. Yeah, I think we'll keep this one. 
Um, wooden Kusari Gama. Okay, so these are nice Kusari Gamas and all, but none of them are part of... There don't seem to be any Kusari Gamas that are part of the set. So this was what I was holding on to because it has Corruption. I think I have at least one that was doing Holy, but it's not very good. I mean, it's just way low level at this point. So we'll hold on to the very highest level one we got. And I probably need to do some management and get rid of some old ones later. These Tonfas come from the land of Yang Yang. Uh, these need to be Corruption. These imbue Fire. These imbue Water. These imbue Water. I should pick one of the Water ones. I will pick the one that appears to be better. Without doing too much analysis. Urn Splitter Hatchets, but not as good as these are. Urn Splitter Hatchets, but not as good as these are. Okay. No Switch Glaives. Split Staffs. They threw us a new... They threw us a couple of new Split Staffs, but I don't think... Well, hold on. Evil... Evil Crusher. We've got Evil Crushers that have uh, go up to 900, though. So those are probably better. These are higher level. This imbues water. Oh, Tempest Split stuff, yeah. But again, this is. Okay, never mind. Just talking, thinking out loud. Don't think we need to hold on to any of those. Red Kappa helmets are nice and all, but they're not part of a set. Um, so you got really good defense, <laughs> honestly. Um, although Kentaro's headband is technically better. Kentaro's headband, uh, because it's part of a heavy armor set, it weighs 6.1, even though it's a freaking headband. It weighs like three times as much as this helmet. <clears throat> kind of dumb. Kentaro Curas, which is very slightly not as good. Uh,. Same thing here. This is. Well, this is giving me untouched Omnia. Well, no, it's untouched Omnia. It's like a 2% chance you get free Omnia. Not, not really that exciting. Gloves. No glove, no love. Um. Kintos. Gods. But they're not really doing anything that's special. Main thing I want to do is make sure I don't leave behind any new set stuff like Master Swords, Mini Curas. Matanza, Monster Matanza's uh, Waste Guard. It will make you a sacrifice of the gods. But um, we don't need to worry about getting a new one here. Ninja Power. Life plus 37. Ninja Power plus 8. Don't really know what an 8% boost to Ninja Power really does. And honestly, I don't feel like searching through all the accessories. I guess we'll sort it by newest. Is there anything like... Well, no. Okay, so I'm just not getting new accessories. It looks like nothing came in uh, accessory-wise from all those missions, which isn't that shocking. Um, and you know what? I've been giving everything to um, the um, Team Master guy. Let's just, for sake of speed here, Give all these to the uh, Kadama for a little bit of... Yeah, we didn't get very much out of that, actually. As you can see, we've got like... Uh, we've got less than 100 space left in our item box, even as I try to clean stuff out. Just holding on to all the set stuff and different Wapits I want, so it's getting a little ridiculous. But dojo missions-wise, uh, we can't do any more dojo missions until we actually um, level up the sword, the axe... The Switchglaive and the Odachi. So the thing to do now is to we've only got half a video left. Um, yeah, we've got the sword and we've got the full Hanzo set. So let's find us a side quest to do. You see, I'm in an earlier area because I was getting a little bit of sword experience off screen by fighting a boss. That like, remember that giant? bird like owl looking thing that had like the glowing red eyes i'm thanks to the magic of absorb all damage uh scrolls which count as far as like never get hit by a boss that counts it probably shouldn't but it does so i i went back to fight that thing again and actually got got credit for killing it without taking any damage because of the take no damage scrolls so let's look for side quests we can do here that might not take too long farewell to the past i might not have side quests that we can quickly do here We might have to go back one to get a side quest that we think we could do quickly. 
Well, we do have a new side quest here, and it's level 80. Master of the Three Eagles. <laughs> oh, it's you. So you've been learning a thing or two from that Master Swordsman, right? I knew I'd seen that technique somewhere before. <laughs> oh, he's the guy. Oh, never mind. That guy wants us to kill uh, Hisahide. I guess he is alive. I thought he was supposed to be dead. He certainly dies before Nobunaga does, historically. How strange for one to still be so detached to the way of the blade, even in death. How about we put that beautiful swordsman ship to good use? I need entertaining, after all. Okay. So we'll be... Ooh, summon, smithing text summoner's candle. Okay. So this is, um... Us getting revenge by killing uh, Hizahide. So this will be a one-on-one -on -one fight, unless Hizahide cheats and has a bunch of minions helping him, which would not be beyond him. But I'm thinking this should be either quickly failed or quickly succeeded. And we get to use whatever we want here. I probably shouldn't be trying to do this with a sword. But, Shadow Sword. Shadow Sword. Square at the end of a combo. Hopefully he won't be too difficult to beat. Yeah, he's doing trickster stuff. Kind of using his own tricks against him here a bit too. Because he's like poisoning and some. He's gonna trick us again. So we got revenge. That was fairly easy because you actually get to use all of your cheap styles um, ninja gear, unlike in the actual. And it was a one-on-one -on -one fight. Like he didn't. He was using all sorts of like tricky maneuvers, like disappear and attack you from above, poison, paralysis. But yeah, not that bad. Yeah, so he he was dead at least. Oh, but he's giving us a new squid slash spider spirit. That's fun. I'm spider. You're a fly. I'm spider. You're a fly. I like being corrupted. It's awesome. That light's just too awesome, man. You need to see how awesome it is to be killed by spiders with your own eyes. <laughs> I ever told you guys about that horror film called The Beyond? Which my friends had really hyped up because it was by a famous European filmmaker. And it wasn't that impressive except for this one scene which I thought was really awesome. I really loved this scene from a horror filmmaking perspective. Of a, there's like a haunted house. Evil Satan power possesses this house. This guy goes to a library to find a book like he's looking for re to research the house and figure out how to, to remove the curse and he's in the library by himself because uh, like librarian steps out for a minute to take a phone call or something he climbs up a ladder to reach a bookshelf the ladder mysteriously starts moving he falls off cracks the back of his head on the floor and is basically rendered immobile and then dozens and dozens and dozens of spiders start crawling out from underneath various bookshelves and using various um, filmmaking techniques and trick shots, 
they make it look like the spiders are climbing all over the guy, basically biting into him, including eating his eyes. I'm sorry to gross you out. It's a horror movie. I, I thought that scene was awesome. Also, it's playing this like really weird techno music behind it as this goes on. I thought that was like the, the film overall was kind of slow and a little pretentious, and I wasn't that excited by it. But that one scene, I was like, "That's fucking terrifying," <laughs> and uh, it involved library spiders. So for a while, um, a college, a couple of college buddies of mine who watched the movie together had a, a term called library spider syndrome, which was what you were uh, suffering if you were a cultural work and there was one thing about you that was really, really, really cool, but otherwise you were kind of a waste of time. But anyway, we got spider spirit Itokuri. And that's like a transparently evil dude. I kind of like this guy. Like, I would be down with having tea with this guy. Except you would almost certainly poison it. I feel bad because we just got done giving away his uh, stuff I'd been giving to him in the past many, many times to someone else. So, oops. We never got our one-on-one -on -one fight with Nobunaga in this game. He might be like a optional boss later. Now that was entertaining, but a word to the wise. If you're going to keep using those glowing stones, I'd be more careful. There are dubious individuals in search of such stones, causing all manner of trouble, I hear. At the same time, you wouldn't want to be too careful, would you? I mean, what would be the fun in that? <laughs> and we got awesome-ass um, Malefactor gear, like if we didn't already have it, which we did. Um, that appears to be it for side quests we can do around here. I guess I could go back one and see. Now it's like I really need something quick. Because that actually what didn't take quite long enough. I'm going to guess I could always call a little early. Oh, you know what? There was a boss we fought way earlier in the game that pissed me off. And now it would be OP to fight him. And maybe it would be fun to go back and try to get revenge. Visitation? I could have... I've got the one-eyed imp here. But I could replace the one-eyed imp with a uh, glowing spirit of a spider. That might be fun. Honestly, I should check and see what the spider's powers are. Yeah, let's have a glowing spider with a timepiece of some kind uh, for a body. Be our new spirit friend. View illustrations, guardian spill it, spill it, spirit illustrations. Princess, jellyfish, I guess. Itokuri, spider is content, not content to merely protect people. It also likes to alter their fate, taking them on a winding path on the way to their destination. For example, many loathe Masa, Matsunaga Hisahide for his villainy, while others remember him as one of the most cultivated gentlemen of his generation. Either way, his influence was huge, and far reaching, though it remains unclear to what extent. The spider sphere was involved. Possibly not at all, since it doesn't really exist. Treasures and historical items. You know what? Okay, I could be doing... Uh, I could round this video out easily with off-screeny stuff, like looking and seeing if I want to use that spirit. Which I guess we should at least quick do that. But I want to do something action uh, to end this thing. Because it'll be the end of a session. Let's take a look at this new guardian spirit. Uh, paralysis accumulation. I don't use that. So, no. Uh, poison accumulation would be more likely to go with, or any other accumulation. Corruption accumulation would be handy. But I don't think you get your spirit bonuses in the dojo fights anyway. They really strip you down for those dojo fights. Hitotatsu's dying wish. And a seclusion... But at Howl? Maybe it's the later one that this guy shows up at. I think you remember who I'm talking about. He's the guy who works for uh, Mitsuhide, and then uh, gets possessed by the powers of evil and whatnot. The Golden Nation.
way out immovable is this how do I waste here no I don't want to bring this up I want to face you in combat okay yeah let's see if we can beat this guy because we're way over leveled for him now he was a huge pain in my butt before I'm not using the right weapon uh, that would be my normal weapon of preference but I'm curious how tough he would be to beat now It's not letting me target him, so I already wasted a ton of stuff here. He's still t not taking much damage, is he? Yeah, this is obviously a lot easier, though. It's not over yet. It's almost over, friend. My drastically improved everything is helping a lot here, but... Those things were a huge pain in the butt before. Now they're not really that big of a deal. You know what I want to finish him off with if I can? Bombs. <laughs> He's going to dodge. Except that time. He didn't get a chance to. Ooh, that hurt a lot. I could still lose this thing here, yeah. I got to get a jail-free card activated. He's got a... I just don't want the embarrassment of losing. Yeah, he actually defeated me. Because he's... He's still got, like, super ridiculously powerful techniques. He just has much lower stats at this point. Oh, we actually died. It didn't count as a, like, defeat, try again kind of deal. So, yeah, if I'd finished him a little faster, or if I'd certainly, if I'd used a weapon I'm better with, uh, we would have got him there, no question, but, um... And slowing him down is gonna be... ...major. I want you to get hit with that stuff, man. Come on. So it's still using, like, mystical powers and shit to avoid all of my poison. Yeah, boy, I might have bitten off more than I could chew by reinviting this fight. over yet. It's not over yet, Snake! It's not over yet! And that's him using the technique I usually use, the absorb a certain amount of damage thing. I 
That's that hurt a bit. Okay, let's finish him off <clears throat> so I can end the video. Thank you. And uh, none of this stuff is going to be worth holding on to. Because um, I really shouldn't be back fighting this guy. I just wanted to round out the video. And yeah, he actually beat us once. Like, you, you still have to pay attention against this guy. Well, we probably won't be doing it. Well, we will be doing battle again, but only after you've become a monster freak, I'm, I'm afraid. He's like <laughs> doing a super Ginyu Force poses there. That's great, buddy. All right. So I'll have to fight a bit more with swords, switchglaive, and axe to round out the dojo missions. And uh, Master of Magic and Master of Ninjutsu, we haven't unlocked yet. But yeah, it feels like we'll have the dojo stuff done fairly soon. I did not expect you to wield such power. I didn't think you'd come back when you're like this over level. Jeez, man. When you take on your <clears throat> take on challenges the game wants you to be taking on at this point. And he's got a point. So when we come back next time, um, we'll either be doing a side mission from the act that we're in, or we'll just go on with the main story. Um, unless I've done a lot of off-screening and gotten to the point where I can do the other dojo missions. But I don't really anticipate that. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm Serious GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time for more Neo 2. Bye-bye.